All right, so I'm working really late. If you see the clock behind me, that's uh, one o'clock in the morning. I've been pulling in some extra hours and posting some items and getting them listed. Q4 is here. You know, Halloween's almost over. Well, I can't say it's almost over with, but for posting and everything, it should have already been listed. And now it's time to start thinking about that Thanksgiving, Christmas, holiday time. So. Uh, I've been doing some retail, retail arbitrage. I picked up some items. I've been doing garage sales. I'm trying to find toys, different things. And one thing that I picked up recently, which I showed you in the video, was this right here. This Mega Constructs Destiny Cobble Harvester Dropship. Well, it just sold. And it's going to be going through the global shipping program. It's going overseas. The buyer paid $120 for it. So it's got a little weight to it. But fortunately, I got some boxes here. I have this box here and this box here. And those are the boxes that I'm going to use to wrap this up in. And those are boxes that actually, when I order uh, packages and different things from eBay, uh, that's what the boxes came in. So I just happen to have two boxes. It's going to be the right size. So I'm going to wrap this item, and I thought I'd show you how I wrapped it. All right, to start off, I had bought a couple of rolls of cellophane at a garage sale recently and that's what I'm going to use to wrap this box. So let me set you down. Hopefully you can see everything okay. Um, the box I'm not going to, it's already, everything's packaged inside the box. It's never been opened. But all I'm going to do is take some cellophane and wrap it around the box. And all that's going to do is help hold, hold the box together and give it a little added protection. Uh, there's going to be no bubble wrap or anything on here because it's going to be inside the box. And I'll give it a couple of wraps. You know, I want to make sure that this thing's sealed really good. Normally I wouldn't film this, I just wrap and get it done. So this is going to take me a little extra time since I'm filming it. I'm trying to make sure that you kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm sure I'm shaking the camera a lot doing this, so I apologize about that. And I may even fast forward a little bit on some of this video just so uh, it's not real lengthy. Could put a, a layer of bubble wrap around here but uh, I think the box is gonna be well I might go ahead since it is going overseas if I'm gonna go ahead and do that See this? These are the box I'm going to use. I'm trying to adjust the camera a little bit. You're probably not seeing a whole lot too well to have. Alright, so I'm going to take this long air bubble and lay it across the top of this. Right, maybe you can see a little bit. A little close. You might not be able to see it all. Put a little air bubble in there. Alright. Get a couple more. Put it on the side. There. I'm going to really pack it in there. 
I got plenty. You get this air bubble free. I got friends that save it up whenever they order packages and stuff. So, I got plenty. Alright. That's going to that's gonna work out pretty good. That's going to work out good. Alright, so I'm going to fold these corners in like this and give it a tape. Just to try to keep this thing to help from shifting. Um, and I'll do it on both sides. Like just like that. And I'll do it again on this side. Fold the corners. Alright. And that's going to hold that. Then we're going to take this box and attempt to shove it over the edge of it. Hopefully it fits. Might have to do a little mani manipulating. There we go. There we go. Alright. Let me get it taped up and I'll be right there with you. All right, I'm getting it all taped up, and I'm using some brown tape and some packaging tape. One thing I like to use is uh, string tape, uh, security tape, and I don't know if you can see it, but like I'll run it here, I'll run it around the length of the box. Run it over the seams. And I usually use this kind of tape for heavy items, high priced items, things like that. Things I don't want tape to get broken too easy or boxes to get broken too easy. And this stuff is very durable. This, this string tape is just, it's just, you can't, there's no, there's no breaking. It's going to bind up before it can even break. Alright, so then I have more brown tape and I'm probably gonna run out but I got a little bit more up there and all I do with the brown tape is it's used to I use it to mask or cover up that that, that security tape it's not that it completely hides it it's gonna protect it it's gonna protect it and also keep it covered So this package is all ready to go and, and sent out, uh, cutter, covering up the address label. But it's going out by FedEx, and it cost me a little over $19 to send it to a ground FedEx. And then from there, it'll go to Kentucky, and from there, it'll go to Australia. So, it's on its way. Alright, so I just got back from the post office and made it back in the door when I had something sell. And normally, I would turn right around and go back to the post office. But the person messaged me and said that they wanted to buy a bunch of old LP records that I had, a bunch of uh, 78s. So in this box, which I'm driving, I shouldn't do that. In this box uh, is uh, 28 records and they're all going out media mail. It's uh, 18 pounds of records and it's only cost uh, a little over $11 to go out media mail. Which is good, which is good. The buyer paid $28 for the items. So uh, I already made my money back in records that I had bought out of a lot before. So this is just bonus, bonus money. I'm not making a ton of money, but it's a bunch of old records that don't have a lot of value to them. Uh, so I'm glad to be getting rid of them. In fact, uh, for the music interest, industry, they'd probably get a little upset, but he's gonna, He's getting all these records to a art project for uh, the students. So I thought, hey, what, why that's it's really good. I uh, he messaged me, asked if I could get them out. I said yes, I would. So I'm turning right around and going back to the post office. And it's not bad. It's only about a mile from my house or less. So 
anyway that's where i'm heading out to then and i'll either head back home or if i see a, another garage sale sign or a thrift shop sign or a thrift thrift shop i want to go to or something that's where i'll go but i'll catch you later